How's everyone doing? We're back with another quick chess tips video. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about rook pawns, meaning either pawns on the A file or the H file, and why these pawns are a little bit different than other typical king and pawn endgame positions. So, if we start from this position here, right here, if this was anything other than a rook pawn, this position would be completely one for white. And why is that? Well, white to move here, h7. And typically what would happen is, now the king would be forced to step over to the side and we would move up in queen. But as you can see, the king would go right off the board. So in this case, the king his lack of mobility actually helps him and this position is going to end in a stalemate. King h6, stalemate. So, I'll show you this position with everything one file over right here. Okay. Again, it's white to move here. But, keeping in mind our last video lecture that we talked about, if it was black to move here, we know that this position is a draw because he grabs the opposition with king f8. Takes the opposition and check, and then king g8, king g6, stalemate. But, if in this position it's white to move, now that he's on the g-file, after we play g7, he has both sides that he can go to, allowing us to advance, and that's it. He'll move away, we'll make a queen, we'll go here, queen g3, king up, and checkmate. And that's it, and that's just, um, that's what I wanted to tell you guys about uh, rook pawns. If you're if you're worse in a king and pawn endgame, if you can somehow make it so that it's only a rook pawn, you, then your chances of drawing go up tremendously. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And I will be taking suggestions if you guys offer anything about any videos you'd like me to make. Well, thank you, and I will talk to you guys soon.